Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. Since February, I've been streaming the entire Ace Combat series. Ace Combat, uh, actually I've streamed with Air Combat for the PlayStation. Then Ace Combat 2. Then the Japanese version of Ace Combat 3, translated of course, because I can't understand Japanese. But it was important to get the Japanese version because at least that one had the story. It was originally on two discs and when it was ported here to the States they condensed it to one disc and they chopped out the story. They chopped out everything about the story including the multiple endings. Then Ace Combat 4 had a little bit of fun with that afterwards. And then Ace Combat 5. Ace Combat 0, which uh, had a weird alignment system, but much like uh, Mass Effect would eventually have. I did not bother to play that one again. I don't ever plan to. It just it just didn't feel it didn't feel fun then Ace Combat X for the PlayStation Portable which oddly enough was fun I enjoyed the system of building your plane adding parts to it and essentially making a beast I thought that it would be near impossible to be able to uh, to be able to fly the, the airplane without a second analog stick, without uh, a second set of shoulder shoulder buttons. But somehow, somehow they made it work on the PSP, and it worked pretty well. It, it, for the first time ever, I enjoyed using the machine gun. Just wish the story would have been better. <laughs> Some of the names were kind of awful as well. But, but that's beside the point. Uh, Ace Combat 6 followed, and I had a little bit of trouble with, with one mission. And it caused me to... To have a bit of a to, to take a bit of a break in between in in between runs, but to say that is true, it would be disingenuous. I I actually had to take care of a couple of things behind the scenes. It had nothing to do with the game, but that was the excuse I used, and I apologize if I was dishonest. But the fact of the matter is, there were a couple of uh, there were a couple of issues that had to be taken care of around the house. I had to cl had to help clean up a little bit with uh, with certain things. We had to reorganize a couple of things here and there. <sighs> Eventually, I did finish Ace Combat Six. Played, but. Did not finish Assault Horizon. I'm ashamed to admit that I did not get to. I, I did not finish the the last boss. Uh, it wasn't until I shut the game off for the last time that I realized, oh, you're not even supposed to be able to damage the guy until after the fifth. Uh, after the fifth cutscene. Of having to constantly target and do and uh, and tether yourself via dogfight mode. That's all it really is. It's it, it's a tethered on rail mode. And it's only after the fifth cutscene to where this guy blows up a national monument or or sells or goes over a, a, a certain point to where finally then you're able to damage the guy. Unfortunately, by that time. You're already out of flares, 
and this guy can launch four quick air maneuver air to air missiles at once how are you supposed to dodge all that while being tethered and you can't untether yourself because if you if you do this guy will make a break for the White House with a nuke strapped to its back. Yeah, it's... I have a feeling that it's probably possible to do, but I couldn't do it. and I didn't want to spend the entire night trying to beat that guy and not get anywhere. I, I just couldn't do it. So I gave up on the Salt Horizon. I then moved on to X2, which actually was made before Assault Horizon. I kind of, I kind of got the chrono chronology wrong. Chronology, whatever. I got, I got the the order of the games wrong. I was supposed to have done X2 first, and it turned out that after the second mission, uh, the game crashes on PPSSPP. So, I had to skip that one altogether. Luckily, I had a wild card in Assault Horizon Legacy. Which was a remake of Ace Combat 2 for the 3DS. Now, despite the insane slowdown, it, it, it's not optimized. Despite that, it works great. It just has problems when rendering mountains, when rendering landscapes, when it, when it views nothing but sky, then that's where it shines. And I like the I like the added features of, of building up your aircrafts, aircraft uh, fighter jets. You're able to add pl engines. You're able to add uh, wings, armor. Special cockpit features like added lock-on capabilities, that kind of thing. I like that. So, I had some fun with that last night. After having already finished the game on Friday. But now, this is it, folks. We've been building up to this. It's time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my first ever playthrough. I have not touched this ever since I ever since I purchased it. This is my first ever playthrough, my first ever playing period of Ace Combat 7, Skies Unknown. And it's the first ever Ace Combat game ever released on Steam. Here goes. The white notepad, by the way, is just to just to help lighten up the room. Because otherwise you would have saw nothing. You know what worries me is that if the, if the game was released a little bit later, it probably would have been scooped up for the Epic, Epic, Epic Games launcher. Just because it uses the Unreal Engine. I do like how how it already shows everything in the menu. What I mean by that is just by highlighting each and every single option 
everything below it, every, everything underneath that particular option is then shown. Even though it's heavily blurred. Oh my. Mm, forgive me, it's... For, for some reason, the air outside is making me really, really tired inside. Let's begin the campaign. New game! And because I am nuts, we will do normal mode. Does the color of the sky mean anything special to you? It does to me. A hell of a lot. Well, it is rather blue. When I close my eyes, the sky in my dreams is a deep, dark blue. Pilots have been in my family for four generations. Flying's in my DNA. Even so, my grandpa didn't want me joining the Air Force. He lost faith in the Ocean Air Defense the day my dad died in battle. You know, Abby, I wish you could see what it's like up there. Cruising above the clouds, the dark blue of the stratosphere. Nothing beats being at the controls and seeing it from the cockpit. Look here. Gramps tossed a magazine over to me with an article. Unmanned fighters are no longer a dream, it read. Pilots taking to the skies will soon be a distant memory. I don't see anything good coming from that. Know what? Lying smack dab in the middle of the desert west of here, there's a bunch of planes from the last war. Some of them have been mothballed, but most of them are just rusted piles of junk waiting to be scrapped. Gramps was really good friends with the super there, so he got to take whatever he wanted, no questions asked. That's how we got the parts to build our own plane. Now, when I say we, I mean me, my grandpa, and his old war buddies. I cut my teeth working with those geezers. They taught me their skills and some dirty jokes. <laughs> but with their aging eyeballs and whatnot, I ended up having to do most of the work myself. I was at the airstrip doing some flight training when I saw it. A prototype drone. It wasn't much of a plane, more of a trash can with wings. Laugh at it all you want, kid. But technology's always changing. If you don't keep up with it, it'll leave your ass behind. That's supposed to be pops. It took six years and eight months to get that engine running. And it took us another year and a half after that to finally get the balance of the airframe just right. I'd gone from being a little girl to, well, still a girl, just older. But now, I was all alone. Oh. <sighs> Wherever the souls of my Gramps and his pals are flying, I hope it's peaceful. Then, finally, I was ready to break the sound barrier. All this plane could do was take off, accelerate, and fly up. I gotta say, it looks pretty real. Flying an unarmed starfighter. Sounds about right. So, I flew up. Straight up. Through the clouds. Higher into the sky. By the way, Dark can you clear. hear me okay? I could almost touch it. Then I saw Osea's fighters. They were tailing something. A drone. They were going full out chasing that thing. 
to move 30 G's at least. Damn, I've never seen anything move that fast. It had a rose painted on it. The Erusian emblem. But that country's a whole continent away from here. Crap. It should have been my best to be a piece of junk. Should have built a return too. <laughs> instrumental in helping to maintain peace in Yuzha as members of the International Union Peacekeeping Force. Until today. Earlier, our radar site informed us that a group of unidentified aircraft was approaching. Communication systems went down immediately afterwards. We are led to conclude that they have attacked the site. Here's your mission. It's possible that the Yuzhan ceasefire agreement has been broken for the first time in over a decade. As of today, the Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron of the IUPF has been put on high alert. All members who have been ordered to sortie fly there immediately. Find the unidentified craft, then use your weapons to round them up and force them to land. If the hostiles counterattack, then you will... What the hell was that? There's smoke! We're under attack. Numerous unidentified aircraft confirmed overhead. What? How is that possible? The tank farm to the north has been bombed. Many injured. Scramble. All units, take off and eliminate the unidentified craft attacking the base. This is not a drill. All right. After setting all the all, all the uh, the graphic settings to maximum earlier before the stream started, it's finally time to find out if this computer can really handle this kind of game. Here goes. Wow, that lo that looks really really good. High tech uh, with uh, all the visuals. You can actually make out the word rescue on the on on the the cockpit. A low weight fire developed to, among other things, support large lead air superiority fighters. Featuring the latest technology at the time, such as fly by wire, it boasts great dexterity and stability. Its nickname is Fighting Falcon. Large carrier based fire designed as an intercept of the E model is, ver is a variant used by the Air Force. Though an older craft, its speed records are still impressive. It has other various nicknames around the world in addition to Phantom 2. And the F an F-10, uh, I'm sorry, F-104C that Arville rescued from an aircraft graveyard and spent over eight years restoring in the hope of ri riding her drag racer into the deep blue sky. Because the aircraft is not equipped with any weapons, it can be only be used in free flight mode. Ah, okay, so that's why it's in black. It, it, that's why it's uh, darkened. Okay. Okay, so it's more of a choice between the F4E and the Fighting Falcon. Uh, the Fighting Falcon seems to be the only real choice here, because... Everything else, other than speed, everything else is, is uh, suffers really horribly. All right, looks like we're good to go. Meet squadron. Aircraft preparations complete. Stand by at the front. Yeah, 
game looks fantastic, runs pretty smoothly on, on your PC as well. Awesome. Operation Deerhorn, really? Radar sight still silent. Scramble. Get those birds in the sky. We're sitting ducks. What's happening? Bombers in some. Don't know how many. Let's clear that runway. We don't got all day here. Base squadron, head to runway. Column squadron, take off. Link to Skykeeper. Hurry, Mage squadron. Trigger, your call sign is Mage 2. Verify and read back. Mage 2, clear for takeoff. The situation is tight. It's a hell of a welcoming party, but we have faith in you. Good luck. So this will be the third Control. game that I'm Do playing in the OC and Air Force. Hear that? Column squadron and your wingmen are airborne. Take off and form up with Mage 1. Mage actually, 2 no, altitude this, restriction is lifted. Good this luck. This actually be the second game where I play in the OC and Air Force. Whoa. Looks like the harbor's taken a lot of damage. Can't have any more casualties. Time to stop the bullshit. Mage 2, form up with Mage 1. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem Squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golem 4, understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst and stay sharp. Wilco. Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Okay, here we go. Hello. Looks like bombers have been located. Hello! Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. The game looks awesome Trigger, on my, on my your computer. Radar. See if you can locate the enemy. I, I, I'm... I'm stunned. It, it actually works great. I think Mage this. I, I think this rig might might actually handle uh, AAA games. It looks pretty good. Opening cutscene looked looked uh, realistic. They're way overhead. Let's go introduce ourselves. Oh, it's all up there. Okay. <laughs> I was like, why, why am I not seeing anything? <laughs> Watch out for the support aircraft. Breaking hostile lock. Enemy support eliminated. This should make the job easier. Destroy the target. Fox 2, Fox 2. Go ahead and turn around once more for for lining myself up for a shot. Missile so how was your day? Good again. Target confirmed down. Looking good, Those? Mage Two. Awesome. Mage Two. Targets in range. Parabolic. My uh, my day Trigger was not like this. You got this. I know the kid's shown some promise, but let's remember he's still barely gotten his feet wet. That bad. Uh, not really good or bad, not really anything. Trigger, don't forget your special weapon. End of a... <laughs> kind of a block like... kind of day. It existed. Pretty much. Kind of, sort of. That's it. It's great when it's simple. Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage 2. I do have a not question. Too shabby, Mage 2. I do have a question. I'm, I'm kind of curious about this. Recently, uh, my dad, stepmom, and myself, we took part in cleaning out a storage unit for someone who passed away recently, part of their, uh, of their club. I got to take a couple of things home myself, as well as everybody else that was there. I have sitting next to me two Dragon Ball, two Dragon Ball Goku action figures. Still sealed in the package, and I'm left to wonder, why does Goku have a gun? I don't know. Yeah, if if you go on any website that that hosts the Dragon Ball toys, look up Goku, 
uh, Irwin. Yeah, Dragon Ball Goku Irwin action figure. And you'll find, well, let me go ahead and show it real quick. Oh, that's right. I have no control over the mouse, so I can't. I, you can you can probably barely see it in in the uh, picture on the lower right corner, but yeah, it's for some reason Goku has a gun, and I don't know why. Me neither. Along with a dragon ball that looks like a soccer ball with a star on it. <laughs> I know it's supposed to be one of the dragon balls, but. It looks like a soccer ball. Come on. <laughs> Goku with a gun wall. Yeah, exactly. Lang. Uh, Lang. 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 Uh, I'm just going to call you Frankenstein. <laughs> <coughs> also got something else uh, along with the action figures, but I'm going to keep a lid on it for now. Let's just say the recipient of this this particular thing is going to be floored when he sees it. I've only showed it to one person so far. I'll probably show it to you later on, after the stream's over. Which, by the way, I'll be ending the stream regardless at either midnight or 12.30, depending on whether I'm in a mission or not. Speaking okay. of which, back to the game. Dude, you still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. This guy hates my guts. Skykeeper, this is Mage One. Over. Tally two bandits. Copy that. It's a bomber and an escort. Oh, there, Trigger. Settle down. Mage Two, maintain your element with Mage One. Do not break off. Mage One, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Wilco. Call him two. Let's maintain element. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. Gollum, Mage, two new enemy groups. This Make sure he doesn't do anything stupid, like go say, finish the mission. Drones? Verify. drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus, Throw them this like the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. <sighs> UAVs? I can't tell them apart. Target is down. boy, Trigger. So you can actually get clipped on the wings of a of, of, of a an enemy plane. Gotcha. Good to know. Good to know. Mage two, form up with Mage one. All aircraft, let's do this. Golem squadron, it's go time. Roger that. Golem four, understood. This is the AWACS Skykeeper. Take down all unidentified bombers. They don't have many escorts. They hit our radars hard in the last attack. Expect the worst, and stay sharp. Wilco. Trigger, I'm your wingman. You fly with me now. That's what it means to be in an element. You gotta keep an eye out for enemy bombers. Okay, here we go. Looks like bombers have been located. It's showtime, Trigger. Let's see if you can handle the spotlight. You're a good pilot, or so I told them. I had to fill an empty spot, so... Fox play long. 
Enemy bomber confirmed down. Good job, Mage 2. Not bad, Mage 2. Trigger, switch your radar. See if you can locate the enemy. There it is, sitting there all pretty, just waiting to be taken. in range. Pair of bombers. Trigger, stay calm. You got this. I know the kid's shown some promise, but let's remember, he's still barely gotten his feet wet. Trigger, don't forget your special weapon. Go like this, boss. They got me. That's it. It's great when it's simple. Enemy bomber down. Nice going, Mage 2. Not too shabby, Mage 2. You still got a long way to go, kid. I'll give you some pointers back at base if you can make it in one piece. Skykeeper, this is Mage 1, over. Tally two bandits. Copy that. It's a bomber and an escort. Whoa there, Trigger. Settle down. Mage 2, maintain your element with Mage 1. Do not break off. Mage 1, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid. Wilco. Golem 2, let's maintain element. Copy that, Commander. I've got your six covered, sir. Radio. I'm gonna shoot Call me a two now. This is HQ. Attention all combat groups. Are there any drones? Verify. Drones? Are you kidding me right now? Jesus. This is the kind of shit that really chaps my ass. <sighs> UAVs? I can't tell them apart. I've noticed that there's some there's some uh, rain or condensation in the air because I keep getting water on my windshield. Bomber hit by a missile. It's a little effects.
Bandit confirmed down. They can burn with their whole payload. Hesitating for a split second could be the difference between life and death. Stay sharp, think fast. Roger that. And now for the last one. Job well done. All bombers are down. Our radar shows no sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Good going, Mage 2. Flight Commander looks like he's got what it takes. Let's slow down. It's just one sortie. Don't try to be a hero. I want you to make it back in one piece, you hear? Yeah, I gotta side with the boss man on this. Golem Squadron, this is HQ. Did you confirm any drones? What's the deal with all the drones? Golem 1, return to base and report for debriefing. So we have a princess involved. Does that mean we have to go into a castle and smash a bridge with an axe? Well, you could probably blow up a bridge with the. We are currently missiles. assessing the damage to the base. We have confirmed that the aircraft carrier Albatross was sunk. We know the attacking bogies were from Arusia. International Union peacekeeping force bases all over the Yuzhan continent were attacked in the same way. The damage is severe. Many wars are lost by failing to recover from the opening blows. That means successfully retaliating was very important. You may have turned the tides of battle here. You have our thanks. Yeah, I got a rank B. I just hope I can I can buy my next aircraft. Ooh, aircraft tree has been unlocked. Can now up equip upgrade parts in campaign mode. That sounds nice. So they they as of 1 p.m. today, kept the, parts the kingdom of Arusia has declared okay. war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. 
The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies the regarding the space elevator that, the that caused economic in. frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space yeah. elevator has been under construction Yerusha for some time Yerusha was the same now. people behind Ace Combat the 4. The Executive Office of the Ocean okay. Federation has declared a national Stonehenge. state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erujian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Osean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erujian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. The world was screwed. 20 years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erujian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erugia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erugia went from being a republic, back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erugian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war, all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. 
I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought, that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So, I tried to escape. <laughs> they found out. <laughs> and of set course. the dogs on me. Yep, yeah, scum, just like before. <laughs> Arusia has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN Peacekeeping Force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage to our armed forces. Forces aligned with Arusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzhen. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now encroaching on us in the east. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Erujian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy concerns. Whoever has control of it will have enormous influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference with the Allied ground troops. The enemy has deployed several vehicles equipped with anti-air radar along the roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw more enemy air support. If that happens, Fight them off swiftly and establish air superiority. Okay, that I can do. I can go and make shooty shoot. <coughs> you can to obtain aircraft. Okay, we got we got a grammar problem. To obtain aircraft, weapons, and aircraft parts of the aircraft tree to gain the upper hand in missions. Oh boy! That sounds like some Japanese to English translation. Yep. Points awarded depending on your performance in missions and matches. They can be exchanged for new aircraft, special weaponry, and upgrade parts in the aircraft tree. You receive them in campaign mode for each mission you complete, and in multiplayer mode for each match you play. The better your performance, the determined by your completion time, number of kills, etc., the more points you can obtain. Use MRP in the aircraft tree to obtain more powerful aircraft, weaponry, and upgrade parts, giving you more of a fighting chance in the air. Items are connected by lines. To unlock an item, you need to usually need to unlock the item before, before it on the same line. Some items, however, require you to meet certain conditions before you can gain access to them. When you acquire a new aircraft, you will automatically be given a special weapon, but the remaining two need to be purchased with MRP. Spend your MRP wisely as you cannot dispose of any aircraft weaponry or upgrade parts once you have obtained them, and spent MRP cannot be refunded. Some aircraft and special weaponry are better suited to anti-air combat, others to anti-surface. The key to successful missions the key to a successful mission lies in choosing the appropriate setup. And it shows different aircraft aircraft types, fighter, multi-role attacker, 
special weaponry types, air to air, air to surface, and other. Speed, mobility, stability, uh, air to air, air to surface, and defense. Some rooms in multiplayer mode feature cost restrictions requiring an aircraft below a certain cost for players to join. Okay. So we have a research tree for planes. It kind of looks like it, doesn't it? Okay. okay. Short range aerial suppression air to air missile. Light Blisk, level one. Enhances aircraft acceleration. Okay, I can't afford the Super Tomcat. I especially can't afford the F2A. He'll eventually afford it. The MiG 29A Fulcrum can't afford that. And whatever this is, it'll be unlocked when I achieve the rank of Airman First Class. I can actually move further down the tree. <laughs> wow. There's a Su-57, huh? Yes. Right alongside the F-22A Raptor. And there's a EF-23 Black Widow 2. F-35C. The Su-30SM. <laughs> Su-57 has a pulse laser. Nice. Su 35S, Su 37 Terminator, Su 34 Fullback, Su 30 M2, the Rafali M, the Typhoon, the Pride of the British Air Force, the F 15E Strike Eagle. <laughs> So it's all the way down the d down the line, huh? Wait, there's an F-15J? I'm learning a little bit more about aircraft models every day. The 
Ripen E, the Su-33, the MiG-31B Foxhound, lots of parts. And all those parts can be unlocked when I unlock whatever this thing is. When I reach uh, Airman First Class. Alright, enough aircraft porn. Let's get back to the game. I need to see if I can get a hold of the season pass. Maybe it'll allow, it'll allow me to unlock a couple of, uh, of a few um, mm, a few aircraft early on, just like in Ace Combat Six. Oh, uh, Cake Plant, you mentioned uh, you mentioned last night as well as I think that's tonight as well. Yeah, you can join the voice channel. It's Anyone that's on the Discord server can join, can uh, come in and say hey. Just be sure to tune your mic first, and uh, you should be good. Set point push to talk. Huh? Yourself to push to talk. That's last thing we need. That's that's the optimum method of, of doing things. If if you feel that you're, once once you feel that you uh, can actually work without a net. Then work with voice activity, but it's probably best you work with voice with a uh, push to talk because uh, things happen. Yeah, things things do happen, and yeah. Do you work with push to talk? Yes. Oh, okay. See, I thought you were living dangerously like me. Each upgrade part takes up a certain number of slots. Certain aircraft have limits on the number of slots they have, which are divided into body, arms, and miscellaneous. You cannot place any upgrade parts onto your aircraft that go beyond the slot limits. Yay! And it gives a slight boost to speed and mobility, which is good. All right, let's do Lead this. Squadron sortie ASAP. Charge the enemy. The current target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weaponry. Destroy the target, but HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. But, uh, any aircraft shot down could land in civilian territory. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. Do you have visual on the anti-air radar vehicles? They should be close. Yep. Target eliminated. Intercept! Fire the AA! Popping off now, Trigger. The war has officially begun. Shit. Where are the damn interceptors? In gun range. The anti-air radar vehicle has been destroyed. It's true. It's a radar car. Target destroyed. Five to go. Get the fighters out there. Protect the radar vehicle. They've got their anti-air guns aimed right at us. It's 
We can't wait any longer. We need interceptors now. We're using the containers now. Those weapons are meant for tactical flexibility. Mage 2, vehicle destroyed. Target destroyed. Three to go. Continue to engage at your discretion. Enemy interceptors inbound. Prepare to engage in 30 seconds. We'll come. Here they come. Take them down. Okay, recruits. Pay attention to who's on what side. The newest IFF is connected to our entire force via satellites. It's reliable, so trust your radars. Enemy air strikes are flawless. We're done for! Mage 2, locked. I can dodge in the main missiles with the crazies. All transports have been destroyed, but what were they carrying? Box two. On his tail. Missed. I have a feeling I'll be eating those words later. Page two, walking. Hello. Hello. I'm cornered. Page two, target destroyed. I can't see the Good. the chat room at the How's moment, the, so I'm guessing uh, you're a pile of scrap. I'm guessing you're a cake plant. How you doing? Morning, 
I'm right. doing well. This base is worth destroying. Awesome. Awesome. Five targets remaining. Page two. Fox two. So, uh, welcome to Discord. How you doing? We came over clear ground. One hundred percent need that. Burr? <laughs> <laughs> Frankenstein. Uh, oh, you will. You will. I'm sure I will eat those words. Forgive the fan. Um, I did try and set my push to talk settings, but, uh. Yeah. That, that's a no. Just worry about staying alive for now. Four targets remaining. Breaking hostile lock. Mitch 2, missile! Alright, there's nothing left to take care of except for what's in the air, so we're good. Get away from that vehicle! Now! Locked out bandit. Three targets remaining. Uh. Enemy on your tail! So would you say that Ace Combat 7 is smoother than uh what happened? Than slow down horizon? Multiple bogies on radar. They're There's close. A lot more Wait. the classic. They're being launched. You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. Judging by the way they look is too <laughs> They got to be drones. Well spotted clown. No doubt about it. We're dealing with UAVs. But that doesn't change a thing. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Take them all down. These drones have great agility. All aircraft. You know what high G turns are, right? Use them. HQ, this is Column 1. Bandits confirmed as UAVs. Repeat, bandits are drones. Column 1, that doesn't matter. Destroy all enemy fighters and get out. It doesn't matter. This game is a challenge. war can change in an instant. Get over it. Yeah, I just wish they'd give us a bit more warning. Fox 2. Gollum 2, the enemy's reading you. Targeting range of guns. Enemy UAV confirmed destroyed. Hell yeah. Gollum squadron, you're not gonna let Mage get all the glory, are ya? Three enemies to go. Lockdown hostile. Oh, of course there's a competitive factor involved. <laughs> Some distance and try and try and nail them with a multi missile.
All right, get up there. Missile. Missile. Behind target and ready to attack. Clouds are screwing up the accuracy. One to go. Let's get through this without any casualties. Oh, of course it would go in the clouds and mess things up. I'm glued to this one. She missed. Yeah, worse yet, I'm so running out of missiles. Huh? Fox 2, Fox 2. The enemy knows a few moves, but that's about it. Just chase them down and pull the trigger. Nice kill, Trigger. Enemy aircraft confirmed down. The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTB. No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Returning to base. I don't know. Maybe the bandits we took down caused civilian casualties. No point arguing. That's how war is these days. You shoot, someone gets killed. The guys in charge take care of the rest. Yeah, this is true. Current target is on. Wait, there's a there, there's a weapon that fires eight missiles. You've given us air superiority by destroying their radar. The first barrier keeping us from retaking the space elevator is gone. Now is the time to group up and begin the counteroffensive. Let us reclaim what is ours. Yay. Okay, so I got 110,000 credits now. I should be able to buy a new plane. Let's hope it's a good one. Surprise attacks carried out after the declaration of war saw the peacekeeping forces of various countries, including Osea, suffer major damage. The ships moored around the space elevator and near Gandar Bay have been hit particularly hard. Numerous ships have been sunk and abandoned. Fortunately, our cutting-edge aircraft carrier Kestrel-2 was at sea, so it was spared from the attack. Kestrel-2 is now preparing to launch another attack against Arugia's capital, Farbanti. The aircraft carrier Vulture also managed to escape Gandar Bay safely. However, it lost all its aircraft, so it's sailing empty. Today, the International Union Peacekeeping Force reclaims its bid to the space elevator. The Fort Gray's Island Air Base Squadron will rendezvous with the carrier Vulture for a joint mission. The first objective will be to seize air superiority in Choppenburg in order to secure a route for the support squadrons. The enemy maintains air superiority over Choppenburg, so expect heavy resistance from enemy aircraft. There's more, so listen carefully. Right from the start of the war, the enemy has been deploying drones. They're using a new advanced type of drone. The unmanned airborne aircraft carrier, the Arsenal Bird, carries this new drone. MQ-101. The Ocean Army headed up the development of the massive arsenal birds and dispatched them to the space elevator to provide support. However, it's been reported that the carriers may have fallen into the hands of the Erujian forces. If that's true, it could be a significant obstacle for us. We need to regain control of the space elevator ASAP. Good luck out there. So there's there's a uh, there's there's spacecraft resembling the Ark Bird that are made specifically to care to uh, carry drones. 
There's the sci-fi element I was expecting. Alright, what can I buy? I am on a shopping spree. Whee! All right, I can buy the MiG 29A, I can buy the Mirage 2005. The F-2A and the F-14 Super Tomcat. I am leaning toward the Super Tomcat, if any, just because it has an eight. It has the the eight missile launcher. And just like, just like games like Gran Turismo, they gotta, they gotta show off the, they gotta show off the car first before we, before uh, we buy it. Oddly enough, doesn't include a, a chorus of, chorus of moans indicating, ah, it's a, it's like a dream. First things first, by the by the eight eight target air to air missile. So I will eventually have access to the Super Hornet. Ooh, icing defense. Hell yeah. And I don't have enough to buy the missile power up, but I'll have to get that later. Also buy the A10. Nice. Well, later on anyway. All right, let's go ahead and start our mission in. In our new Super Tomcat. Add some parts. Let's do this. Meet squadron aircraft preparations complete.
take down the bandits. H2, begin takeoff sequence. You're cleared for launch. That's a nice looking water. Beach 2, specified altitude reached. Restrictions lifted. Good luck. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other base's squadrons already joined forces and are engaged. You guys will arrive right in the middle of the action. Mage Squadron, eliminate all bandits in the current airspace. We have the upper hand, but that doesn't mean we can ease up. Good luck. Mage 1, Wilco. Mage 1 to Gollum 1, thank your lucky stars. Looking good, Mage Squadron. Keep up that pressure. Trigger time to show the other guys that we get wet wild and do dirty, dirty things. Once you hit one of them, stick to him like blue. Don't let him out of your sights, even in the clouds. And so, your first hunting season begins. Is an awful big crater. Yeah, it's a good size one. I think that might have been one of the asteroid craters. Possibly. Sign of bandits. You're in the clear. Wouldn't surprise me if there was a boss fight coming up. They have to be crazy to pick a fight with us. A rabid dog would know better. 
Maybe a, maybe a cruise missile attack. What the hell? Caution, missile! Caution, a large aircraft is approaching. All aircraft, stay alert. Yeah. Oh crap. <laughs> we just learned that Erusia is utilizing the Arsenal bird. Something Those like that bastards. looks so they had cool, that but it's so time. impractical. Enemy has a radar lock. Skykeeper, this is Scout. What do you do about that monster? We're just waiting for mission command. Break, now! I'm not very soon about this. We'll live through this, Trigger. Watch out, we're surrounded! These guys are definitely a step above the last drones. Damn, they're agile. And there's too many of them. These guys will go down easy. All aircraft, no change in game plan. Destroy the arsenal bird. Up against that thing? God help us. It's hard enough just keeping up with the drones. Cone Squadron, take out Big Baby Huey. Split up, find your own targets. All right. Bandit has a lock on me. Missile inbound. These bandits are fast as hell. Skeleton one, check six. Commander, Tagami. Damn. Skeleton one lost. Skeleton two, take over command. Gargoyle squadron, this is Gargoyle one. Skeleton squadron needs help. The hell are we supposed to do? Status? I'm verifying the situation. Let up. I can't get along. I'm just trying to Go to missile! Evade! Evading! This is column three. Column two's hit. Status report. Missile. Shit, column two. Do you copy? This is column two. Instruments still appear to be functioning, okay? Skeleton three. Break! Break! Missile! It appears I'm the only one doing any damage. Skeleton 3's lost. They just keep coming. What's the plan? Where's that report? Continue to maintain air superiority. HQ, Wait, I'm up, what's I'm happening? Up here? Skykeeper, I repeat, maintain air superiority. How'd that happen? Oh, Skeleton bullshit. 2 lost. Shit, we got him coming. Skeleton Squadron is down. We've had too many losses. All squadrons, command has ordered a complete withdrawal. Leave the operation area immediately. We got a force field. Bullshit. Save your chatter for the debriefing. Gollum and Mage Squadron, give our allies some time to escape. We'll go, but Gollum 2 is hit. Gotta send her back. Let's get dirty, Trigger. Shoot down those UAVs. Don't let them touch any friendlies. Golem 2, head back to base. Gargoyle 1, escort Golem 2. Continuing the mission. Still got my wings. Trigger doesn't need to fill in for me. I'm back and I... You won't make any difference up here. Get back to base and cool your head. Copy that. Returning home. I can't shake it! Mage 2, UAV down. The longer it takes, the worse our odds of getting out of here are. Machines don't get tired. Mage 2, walking. Yowza! Retreating aircraft. Leave the AO. Allies will hold off pursuit. Golem Squadron, Mage Squadron, hang in there and come back safe. Mage 2, missile in the air. This is getting a little tight. Missile. Targeting range of guns. That's it, Trigger. They're machines. Don't show them any mercy. More UAVs spotted. Gargoyle Squadron, they might cut off your retreat. I'm still stocked up. Bring them on. Page 2 is flashed abandoned. My status is fine. Affirmative. 
This is Gargoyle 1. Leaving Operation Airspace with Column 2. Retreating aircrafts. Prepare for combat. It's a bogey. Gargoyle 1, Column 2, engage now. Attack! One bandage. SU-30! Gargoyle 1, caution! Missile! He's fast! It's like he's... Skykeeper, Gargoyle 1 lost. What the hell? Column 2, status report. <sighs> Just talk to me. I'm against an SU-30. Orange wingtips. I can't shake it off. It's matching me move for move. Column 2, stop dogfighting and run. <sighs> Splashed. I said what I had to say. About what? Not a girl who'd retreat. Just not in her DNA. 
That was the right decision at the time. No, I should have never let a fledgling like her out of my reach to begin with. Golem Squadron, Mage Squadron, withdraw. Well, at least I got a couple hits on that thing before it threw up its force field. Beach 2, we have you on radar. You are cleared for approach. And yes, it was a bullshit force field. The deck field. is clear. Beach 2, you are cleared for landing. Maybe in New Game Plus you can kill it. 3,000 to carrier. Lower your speed. Beach 2, bank right. Your approach looks good. Stay on course. 1,500 to carrier. Beach 2, lower your nose. You're too high. Perfect, Mage 2. I knew you'd be back. Now return to base. Mage Squadron, this is the situation. Gollum and the other base's squadrons already joined forces and are... Unfortunately, the two-front offensive was a failure. The aircraft carrier Kestrel II was sunk during the attack on Farbanti. Carrier-borne aircraft mistakenly bombed urban areas, and this has turned public opinion in neutral countries against us. Our own forces also suffered heavy losses. If it weren't for a few extraordinary fighters, many of us wouldn't have made it home. The situation is grim. We have precious little time, however. We have to get to the space elevator. That's not too bad. I'm in A rank, and again, I got a couple hits on the, the propellers, so that adds a couple points. God he has his granddaughters here to help him out. Their sisters, 15 and 10. Engaging the enemy in combat so we could use his physiological data to improve the drones had always taken a toll on Mihai's body. But today, he was really showing his age. The drones we based on his data were being taken down at a faster rate now compared to when the war began. When Mihai found that out, he insisted on flying to the front lines to see it for himself. Sometimes he could be so stubborn. His age wasn't the only thing affecting his health. Over the years, flying at high altitudes for prolonged stretches of time had ravaged and poisoned his body. But he was a man of grit. Today, after 28 years, he saw combat again. Can that actually happen? Flight suit still wasn't good enough to protect him. I can't imagine how many G's he hit today during the battle. As a pilot, he exceeds all our expectations. It's going to take a bit more tweaking before our drones can match his skill. Can how flying that high poison your body? You ask. This place well, is a shame. There is a thing known as hypoxia. If you took the stink of all the corruption in the world, then corralled it all in one place, Basically, that would give you a pretty good idea of what the air smells like around here. The less oxygen that can affect it, but the longer you're in there, we the more oxygenated air too. you breathe, Everything well, that can kind of actually guards, poison the body. Rabid dogs, and a mechanic doing a stretch for life. I can't forget the rats. Yeah, we got those. And some pilots who got their wings clipped, too. One's a great pilot, but a lousy thief. One's a gambler with no luck. And one's an anarchist with no balls. 
Their job here was to rev the engines on the fake runways. The idea was for Arusha's spy satellite to pick up the heat sig. Even though there weren't any real fighters here, it looked like it on their infrared. I bet you're wondering, if Arugia lost the war, how come they still have a spy satellite? Because someone over there was smart enough to train a bunch of computer nerds to hack into half of Osea's satellites. That's how come. Every now and again, I'd try to bust out. And every single time, those damn dogs would drag me right back. When I was in my cell, I'd hear this voice coming from the guards' room. It was the Erujian princess rallying her people on the Erujian national broadcast. All us prisoners had become big fans of hers. You want to hear something funny? The guards were big fans too. I swear to God, every time she was on the air, they'd turn up the volume on the radio and sit there listening. I could see how someone like her could win the hearts and minds of soldiers and workers alike. When the princess said something, you could tell she meant every word. Lately, she'd been having more fun with her speeches, and that made her seem even more charming. You could say her charm was like a virus. Whenever she'd point out stuff that was wrong with Osea, the prisoners in here went nuts. Hell, if anyone knew how messed up Osea was, it was the prisoners. They'd shout, burn Osea down. No way am I just gonna sit here and rot away in this hellhole. Dark blue. Instead of building fake-ass planes to trick Arusha, I'm gonna build one that'll really take off. You can count on that. As proved by the failure of our previous strategy, the Arsenal Birds have bolstered the enemy's anti-air network. This will be difficult to overcome. However, we still need to get swiftly to the space elevator no matter what it takes. Someone there is counting on us. The hero of the Circum-Pacific War and the man who spearheaded the construction of the space elevator. Osea's former president, Mr. Harling. Mr. Harling was inspecting the elevator when the war broke out. He's been classified as missing since the elevator was taken over by the Erujian forces. However, according to the latest intel, a military officer accompanying Mr. Harling hid him inside the facility. Both are waiting for a chance to escape. Enemy anti-air radar network has been set up around the space elevator. It's likely a large squadron would be detected. We'll send a single aircraft through the network and send in a rescue team soon after. A number of anti-air radars have been set up around the space elevator. Uh, However, our reconnaissance this shit suggests again. their network is weakest along Get the south and coast stay of low. So ah, of we can course. elude the enemy's observation. At least it's not like that mission in uh, Assault Horizon. At least flying I'm not flying through, through a, will flying with a bomber. Yeah. If you happen to be detected by their radar, we will be forced to abort the mission. The lone pilot will head up this strategy as you, Trigger. After you bust through, secure the rescue craft's landing zone by taking out the anti-air weapons. Gollum and others will arrive shortly for support. Provide escort for Mr. Harling's craft after rendezvous. Good luck out there, everyone. All right, first, let's see what we can buy. Directional proximity fuse. Increases standard missile power. Yes, I will purchase. Which ultimately leads to the F-15C. But that will have to come much later. <coughs> Now, I still got about 65 grand. Is there anything else I can buy? Why? Well, yes, in fact. I can buy the MiG 29A Fulcrum. 
which will lead to cutting edge large ailerons level one. Once again, beauty shots, followed by a chorus of moans. It is a beauty. <laughs> and the next power pet for that is a it is multiple enemy detection device, special weapon level one. <laughs> Decreases special mis special missile reload time. Nice. <laughs> it will be once I can get it. All right, let's let's go ahead and do this. And that boosts our air to air and air to ground, which is nice. Aircraft preparations complete. Sortie ASAP. Hello, Candy Go. Hello, Candy Go. Hello, Candy Go. Entering operation area. Imposing radio silence. We'll radio you, but you are not permitted to make contact. Well, it's not like I could anyway, because I'm, I'm a mute. If you're spotted, the mission is over. Stay out of enemy radar. Use of weaponry is also strictly forbidden. Okay, you're heading up the Harling rescue mission. The success of this mission depends on you. Good luck. So I have 15 minutes to complete this. Also, it looks like I'm flying through a lot of radiation. Third of the way to the rendezvous point. Good job, but stay focused.
Trigger, you got two directions you can take up here. Just go with your gut. Don't worry. We're watching over you. You know what? I've done this shit before. No problem. The situation is normal. Clouds. No change. RTV going home. At least the circles aren't changing. You're making good size. progress, Trigger. You're currently halfway to your rendezvous point. Look, I'm not gonna lie. It's just gonna be you and your radar We're out there. Changing just know, you got a bunch of people pulling for you. And I'm one of them. You're three fourths of the way. Been a long fight, but you're nearly home. Also, is your altimeter set for metric or two? Harling is still the president of uh, metric. Eyes. So, 60 meters high. Okay. Built a space elevator and launched a spaceship from it. Despite his success, he remained a humble hero. I'll do my best to save him. Lend me a hand, Trigger. Rendezvous point dead ahead. Hang in there. Attack. Don't change. It's a tight squeeze, but it's just small. It's it's just big enough for me to fit through it. stage of the mission is clear. Yay, possible Don't celebrate yet. The real fight's about to get started. Radio silence is now lifted. The auxiliary craft will be arriving shortly. Destroy the anti-air around the space elevator. We're securing Sea Goblin's landing zone. Break! Missile incoming! Mage 2, target destroyed. Target is down. Missile. 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 Half of the SAM sites are down. Missile launched. Mage 2, target down. Missile. Trigger. Sorry about the wait. Missile. Cavalry's here. Missile. Golem Squadron. Trigger, jump through the fire. Now it's our turn. Understood. Gargoyle Squadron, stay focused. You all know your job. All aircraft, eliminate the enemy before they can respond. Sea Goblin will arrive shortly. Eliminate hostile anti-air before then. Half of the anti-air guns down. All SAM sites down. There are still AA guns. Destroy them and secure the LZ. This is Sea Goblin. We've arrived. Do we have a clear LZ? Mission still in progress. Stand by. Mage 2. Rescue team can't land until anti-air weapons are down. Destroy them. Hell yeah! Hostile has been eliminated. And one more to go. Oh, it's over there. Okay, I was like, where, where am I aiming at? <laughs> I couldn't see the targeting arrow all that much, so I, I couldn't tell where to, all anti -air where guns to, where destroyed. to look at. The landing zone is secure. Sea Goblin, you are cleared to land. Roger. Running point sight. We're almost there. Multiple bandits over Selatapura Harbor. They're container-launched UAVs. Sea Goblin, we're not going to want to meet up to 
Rescue craft on the ground is defenseless. Gollum and Mage, destroy all hostiles. It's been a long journey, but you're on the home stretch. Gargoyle will stand by near the space elevator. This is Sea Goblin. Heading over to the ex presidents location now. Run for the container! Missile, break! The enemy has a lock on you, Mage 2. Target down. Ambush! Fire from the far shore! They're targeting us! Get behind the chopper! There's too many. We can't take all of them. Three missile in the air. Evade! Return fire! Sierra 2, hold position! We're cut off! Eliminate all enemy UAVs. Don't let up. UAVs approaching the space elevator. Stop them. Respond. Is Mr. Harling alive? Yeah. Go to. Hang in there. They got the chopper and Sierra, too! That was their little barrack! That's about half. Mop up the rest. Shit! Rocket! figure something out. Three remaining. We found an Norwegian transport craft. His engines are on. I heard you were in the Air Force, Colonel. Can you fly? Better than Mr. Harlan. It'll do. All squadrons be advised. The call sign is Mother Goose 1. I've sent the information via the data link. Target destroyed. Fox 2! Fox 2! One remaining. Mage 2! Missile! Hello. Hello. UAVs have been splashed. A raw aircraft. Former President okay, Harling's transport is ready to take off. Person's name I never seen before. Mother Goose One, take off. I'm relatively new. Mother Goose One, take off. Oh. Let's wait till we're right all back. safe. Mage Squadron, Mother Goose One is heading south. I'll be right back. Provide support. Five minutes remaining. Skykeeper, bogey's on my radar. Bearing 220. Sighting confirmed as MQ-101, forerunner for Arsenal Bird. 
The big bird is coming, huh? Mage, protect Mother Goose 1. Shoot down any UAVs. Gollum, intercept the UAVs. Gollum 1 will kill. That last battle taught me a lot about those a-holes. Gollum 2, don't stray off on me. Always maintain element. Wilco, forming up. Missile away. Roger. Sending UAVs at the transport. Orders are to fire warnings. Yes, sir. He's an old timer. Has no clue how to leave these UAVs down. Great job, Trigger. Mother Goose One, UAV on your tail. Take evasive action. I hear you. But this isn't exactly a fighter. Understood. An arsenal bird is on its way. Strategic AI chose liberty over justice. Courses Don't have already over. changed. Break. Break. I hit my mark. Gargoyle One, where's the signal? Locked. It's chow time. Gargoyle Squadron, stand by for my order. Down. Oh, not the lighthouse. I mean the harbor. They won't be able to get home. That ship isn't one of ours. Where's the signal? Gargoyle, change radio frequency. Mother Goose One here. We're about to leave the airspace. Keep your fingers crossed. Gargoyle, it's time. Attention, Gargoyle Squadron. Babble, babble, babble. Three minutes remaining. Gargoyle Three to Babble. Babble, Roger. This is Ace Combat 7. Mother Goose 1 hit! Mother Goose 1 has been hit. Colonel Johnson, respond. Mage Squadron, assess the situation. Cool. This is Mage 1. I have Mother Goose 1 in my sight. Cabin's fine, but the cockpit's not looking so good. Colonel Johnson, are you okay? Woo! Don't worry about that. Just send help this way. Sorry. Get Mr. Army. Please. Mother Goose One, respond. Yeah, see ya. Oh, God damn. I don't mean to be involving. Should we continue providing cover for Mother Goose One? Of course. Of course. Supposed raid on Area 51. Eh, yeah, it'll happen yeah. eventually. Mother Goose One is turning. What's going on? They're heading to the space elevator. It's flying at a steady altitude. Who's in control? It's not the Colonel. Is that Mr. a thing? the only one on board. Mother Goose yeah. One, respond. Yes, there's a Facebook group Mr. Harley, saying that they're going to be raiding. We can't protect our objective if it sticks around here. Point to That's the time to freak out, fellas. We've still um, got a job to do, so let's do it. Keep your mind focused. They're going to raid Area 51 on Mr. September 20th. Harley, we are not giving up on you. There's why, gonna be a lot less Kyles if they do that. Are Goose one. Why did they? Why did they pick Take down that day? I don't know. They one just. They just suddenly December twentieth, two thousand nineteen. A bunch of people. There's a, a bunch Mother of people signed up, ready to go attack Area Fifty One. You know, it wouldn't surprise me if they if, if they if they're doing this knowing they're going to get shot. The UAVs are continuing their attack. <laughs> uh, they're obsessed God with that bless transport. The UAVs launched from Arsenal Bird and the main heading toward the, the AO. The main thing with the memes I've been referencing is destroy those that they're planning, keep Mother that they're planning to find all sorts of alien shit there. Mage 2, clear out the bogeys near Mother Goose 1. <sighs> So if you adding some weird things about Shrek for some strange reason. 
Protect Mother Goose mm. One. Destroy those UAVs. See, it's like that type of stuff, and We're cows have been showing up a lot this week. Operation. And I like cows. Well, in the meme but category, the other big thing they've been going around is memes about time travelers showing up and saying all sorts of crazy things. South Park did it. Skykeeper, what the hell was that? Gargoyle did their job. I figured, but why weren't we informed? The IUN can't coordinate between branches as usual. Gargoyle Squadron, report! HQ, one hit was scored. The rest were intercepted by UAVs. The elevator's windbreak took a scratch. Nothing more. Roger, continue to maintain air superiority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been floating around and I still can't explain it's like Mother Goose hit. weird Mother thing Goose about, been hit. about making Colonel a Johnson, respond. joke that there's a government Squadron, conspiracy that, that, the situation. that making that birds are that birds aren't real this and the government's one. lying to you from on my side. Cabin's fine, but the cockpit's <sighs> not looking so good. Yeah. Colonel Johnson, well, are you okay? It seems like the government's been lying to everyone for a long time. Don't worry about that. Just yeah, but somebody way. made a meme specifically <laughs> on Birds are real, none. Claiming the government, it's a government is lying, saying bir Mother that Goose birds one, are real. Is the Mother Goose One. I was a questioning whether the birds are real. Continue providing cover for Mother Goose One. Of course. No, no, oh, but jeez. Ah, oh, God, son of a bitch. Locked. Mother Goose uh, One. Can I come in? What's going on? Uh, I'm prepping for my uh, 1 million Teemo climb tomorrow, and, well, they banned Teemo, which... <laughs> it's not the end of the world, but I'm trying to get in, a, in League of Legends, because... I figured this much when you said Teemo. Yeah. I know, I don't play most of the game, so I was, well, I was no going, wait, what's Teemo? I know, this is why I... Yeah, which is why I was explaining. UAVs are approaching Mother Goose One. Let's go. Take him down now, Mate Squadron. Oh, Team Timo's a Timo's a a character in a in a League of Legends MOBA game. And turn 180 degrees and trying to get back into playing or to I'm trying to get back into the swing of playing him better, but he's he's getting banned for some reason. I the don't UAVs know why. Are continuing their attack. Ah, too bad. Obsessed with that and so I'm gonna play Ziggs and piss everyone off the because... The why throw bombs? Bomb? Yeah, why throw bombs? Destroy those UAVs and keep I was one safe. kind of... got it in my head, head to do that thing from... Mage 2, that, clear out the crappy bogeys near Mother Goose 1. He said bomb. <laughs> That's a franchise I, I've tried to get. I've tried over the years to Protect Mother Goose One. play, Destroy but those UAVs. I got I got so disconnected from Nintendo between 1996 and now. Not bad. Uh, they're not bad. But I've run into a lot of the rest of the mission. You're not bad. You're disconnected. You can't even enjoy any game. Nintendo games. Oh, well, I do. I enjoy Mario games. I enjoy. Oh, well, it gets pretty that? thin after that, now, doesn't it? I did. I do love Super Bomberman still, but Hudson or Konami now. Uh. Oh, Donkey Kong. Okay. That's Nintendo, right? Still. I think so. Yeah. Continue to maintain air superiority. I'm trying to think of others Mother that I might have... Metroid's respond. Nintendo, yes. Mage Squadron, assess the situation. Uh, it's in Ninja, but... This is Mage yeah, 1, I have Mother Goose 1 in my sight. Cabin's fine, but the cockpit's not looking so good. Oh, yeah, I'm at a loss. Colonel Johnson, are you okay? Because a lot of Nintendo titles that I, I used... I liked a lot, um, in the, in the 90s, are a lot are more independent like Capcom like Mega Man X for example. Well, that was Nintendo for a while, and then they went to PlayStation. So basically, all the series you liked on Nintendo hundred away from Nintendo. Of course. Uh, yeah, pretty much because Final Fantasy is not Nintendo. Well, not like Nintendo exclusive anymore. Um, You're returning back to Nintendo. 
Which is good. Back. Every single one that never was are now on? coming. They're heading to the space elevator. Oh, that's... Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's flying at a steady altitude. And in hurt for... Man, it's not the only one They finally got their first true Western character in there with Vendor to do it. Please respond. Yes, I'm still not counting games here. made by Western developers. Not I'm still not the time to freak out, fellas. We've still got a job to do, so let's do it. Keep your mind focused. By Japanese. Mr. Harling, we are not giving up on you. Well, that's why Dark Sun is still down in my book. Let's go, Trigger. Take him down now, uh, Mate I should squadron. probably put some more time into Smash. Well, and... Soon or just happened, I don't know exactly when. Mother Goose One, have, turn 180 have, degrees and have exit Dragon combat Quest airspace. In, your, in, your, in the Smash. Mother Goose One. Oh, Dragon Mr. Quest Harling. is in Smash? Are you piloting yes. the plane? Arsenal yes. I thought it was weird. Yes. The UAVs are yes. continuing their attack. Yes, you can just replay the one, um... Transport. And three, eight... The most recent one, and I forget what the other one was. And I think all the rest hey, you just destroy you, those UAVs and keep Mother Goose one safe. Hmm. Mage two, clear out the bogies near Mother Goose one. Yes. Okay. Now get back to this dream to see where that's going. Please. Protect Mother Goose one. The Ace destroy Combat really UAVs. makes me want to play Afterburner We've again. Run out of time. Return to base. The mission is. Failed. I don't know how because Afterburner looks nothing like Ace Combat. Oh, well, because the way that the camera moves reminds me of Afterburner. Oh, okay. Like, it doesn't look anything like it. It's way prettier. It's... It's... New, obviously, but, uh... Skykeeper, what the hell was I love that? Afterburner. Did their job. Afterburner. I figured, but why weren't we informed? The IUN can't coordinate you, but between branches as usual. Interesting note. Two out of, out of all the two spin off games in the Ace Combat series take place in the actual real world. Roger, continue to maintain air superiority. Mother Goose One hit! Mother Goose One has been hit. Colonel Johnson, respond. Mage Squadron, assess the situation. Don't you do it, Suicide Horse. I swear to God, this I'll let Mage you die. One. I have Mother Goose One in my sight. What? It's fine, but the cockpit's not looking oh. so good. Nothing. Colonel Johnson, Nothing. are you okay? So you mentioned something about Sue. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I, I have I have alternate names for a bunch of different characters in the two game I'm playing, and one in particular is. Playing. Mother Goose One, respond. Uh, I'm playing League of Legends. Mother Goose One. Ah. Skykeeper, should we continue providing cover for Mother Which, Goose Now that one? the primary setup is done, I can start streaming tomorrow. Yay! Lockdown hostile. Super horrible grind to one million chemo. UAV destroyer. <coughs> Mother Goose One is turning. What's going on? They're heading to the space elevator. It's flying at a steady altitude. Who's in control? It's not the Colonel. Mr. Harling's the only one on board. Mother Goose One, respond. Mr. Harling, please respond. We can't protect our objective if it sticks around here. Now's not the time to freak out, fellas. We've still got a job to do, so let's do it. Keep your mind focused. Mr. Harling, we are not giving up on you. The UAVs are approaching Mother Goose One. Let's go, Trigger. Take him down now, Mage Squadron. One minute remaining. Missed. Mother Goose One, turn 180 degrees and exit combat airspace. Mother Goose One, Mr. Harling, are you piloting that plane? Arsenal Bird Liberty, passing waypoint two. The UAVs are continuing their attack. They're obsessed with that transport. Mate two, mate two. Well, it's about time something different happened. Yeah. Your thing you're staring at? Oh my god, Mother Goose One has been shot down. Where the thing you're fighting your battle round makes me think of Anno 20... 
when he's sending you. Verify the situation. Stop wait, speculating. Wait, let me check. Friendly fire. Which one was it. the full name? Mother Goose One exploded in air. No one could have survived. Looks like it tried to protect the elevator. The Rusian bastards, they just killed a hero. Mage One, was the trigger? I guess. was the closest. Oh, oh God, sense. they're going to blame no, me no, for all this. To keep a goddamn eye in the hatchling. It must have been Not your fault. Arsenal Bird is entering. All aircraft withdraw immediately. Or maybe so, it is. Uh, basically, so, so basically your team is mad at you? That's what it's sounding like. If it's any consolation, my team's already mad at me. They're telling you, stand down! You're too crazy! Outlaw. The operation to rescue former President Harling has failed. Sadly, there is no hope he survived. Trigger, you are suspected of assassinating the former president. Oh, there will be an inquiry. Give me a biscuit. There will most probably be a court martial. Dude, why did you do that? That's like legit. Question. What? Well, basically, you have. <laughs> basically, they think you oh, killed no. the. They basically think you killed the president. You're fucked, man. That's a good question. Uh, why did I do that? I don't know, but there was a giant ma. There was a giant moogle that just came out of the jungle that tried to kill me. I'm a little scared right now. Goodbye, Lane. You lose a lane. Well, Reese here, he, he character in his game, now is going to be on the run for killing president. I'll trade you. Why would you trade? Bad news for us trade. here at the prison. The enemy because of do I've done things like that in other games we before. It's, you're just running. Now. That's okay. But I mean, Kate Sith coming out of the jungle with a cyber snowball trying to kill you? I don't, I'll, I'll trade you. Mostly because, you know, you die after that. It's never fun. Well, sometimes it can be. Like in Modern Warfare 3, it was super fun to die. <coughs> No big Yay, a biscuit. Well, I made fake planes. They had me put together some working ones. Then some genius at HQ decided we should send it up so the base looked legit. Thankfully, we had people to crew them. It didn't matter what we were locked up here for anymore. Top brass needed pilots, and criminals were all they had. A crook, a gambler, an anarchist. Just I'm a play a different character lives. now. So they threw each the one of them in a cockpit and sent him up to intercept the enemy's planes. But in the end, it was all just for show. So, up they went, day after day after day. Today they tossed someone new into the mix. Wonder what he did to get sent here. My dad died flying for the Ocean Air Force. When your allies are surrounded, one of the most dangerous missions is giving them cover to retreat. Whoever signed up for that was a real hero. But even more dangerous than that was being the one who had to cover the rear guard's retreat. That it's was my cool. dad's I have a floof. And one time, he called it off. A floof, Said I stay. Too late for him. Said anyone else would have done the same. I found that out from a war buddy of his when he came to tell me how my dad died. The next time a retreat happened, okay. my dad volunteered to be in the rear guard. Dumbass. He died all right. No one came to help. The news nearly broke me. Of all the ways to get killed, that's got to be the most pathetic one ever. Am I right? There's a rumor going around about another inmate. A guy they brought here a little while ago. Get this. Talk in the cell block says he was sent here because he killed Harling. The president of Osea during the last war, remember? So I'm He's here the now. one that okay. sent my dad on that suicide mission. He's the reason I had to go live with my grandpa. Oh, basically. So, so wait, I have an ask question. How many missions have you done already? He's the reason I ended up here. Maybe I should give that guy a thank you note for killing him. Nah. God, I hate the smell of this place. Hello? It's all fake and lies <clears throat> and bullshit. I don't know how many missions you've done. 
I asked Reese, not you. I don't know. I'm. This is my first <laughs> time playing it. <laughs> you haven't kept track of the missions you've done. Oh, you're on mission five. Right, guys, you I'll let mission you five. in on some juicy info. But this is mission five. The new guy was found. Before mission in, you have international union you have been keeping forces court martial. Been labeled and you the accused of assassinating the president. In the flesh. How do you feel? His tack name's Trigger. Now, as of today, he may be attached to the Ocean Air Force Base 444th Squadron. But that is just some symbolic bullshit. It doesn't really matter if he's Harling's murderer or not. Every last one what of is, you has been oh incarcerated no. Kate for Sith one is reason or another. For me. You cons have an obligation to atone for your crimes. A few of you in the penal unit know how nope. to fly. And no, to plug the deficit in our I airport. must. So well, that kind of screwed me. Oh well. Guys on a reconnaissance mission to the Waipolo Mountains. Bye. Have a bomb. That idea was flat out rejected. Nope. You'll be atoning ah. for your crimes right here at this Hello, base. Hello, Terry. You're my best friend. This base is a decoy designed to draw Except enemy for, fire. Except for you know when and I'm in. As members of this base, you'll be taking hits from the enemy. This will allow our forces to safely prepare a counterattack. Coming. Switch off that alarm. It's just the usual. I thought Zapland was supposed to be an isolated area. Okay, I'm gonna need a few aircraft to scramble. Again? Wonder how many will be today. Better than solitary. How many? Enemy aircraft detected over the dummy runway. We just need to make it look like we can put up a fight. Some of those piles of junk can at least take off. Let's get the guiltiest cons in the sky first. Is Ace Combat 7 the newest one? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Just released we a few don't months ago. You to down any bombers. Very nice. But what we do want is to make them think that we've got an active base here. Oh. And they're Archie, sending me up expecting me to die first. They want to... Look. They want your character to die because they think you killed the president. Oh, disappoint them. That's always fun. You obtained a new aircraft. The MiG-21 Fishbed and the F-104C uh, Star Starfighter. What? Aircraft tree. What did I... What? what? Wait, space? We're adding space? That, 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 that's... I read that too. I'm like, what? <laughs> Look at it. You can be a space ace, I guess. You know, if Ace Freely can be a space ace. Are you ever using a dumb blue thing? Okay, where is this uh, thing at? The uh, F-104C Starfighter. A slim supersonic interceptor from the Century series of fighters. Its thrusters and small, thin, trapezoidal wings allow it to fly at great speeds. Meaning it even stands up to mere modern crap. It's nicknamed the Starfighter, so it's not really a spaceship. Okay. Oh my god, we lost our archer. Oh. Uh oh. <sighs> okay. Uh, Utters. Um. Okay. Nope, she flashed because she is a word cow. Question is though, is it really okay? Uh, for now, Kate Sith is MIA, and look, we're down in Archer, so the the odds of winning this is mm, about Zero? ten percent. <laughs> no, ten. I'd give it ten percent. <laughs> I'm not complete garbage with with bomber zigs, but like. Uh, I mean, whenever you're playing a game with people, you'd, you'd like to have a full team that's there. You know, not... The days of 1v9 with Teemo are over. Okay, finally get to hit her turret. Yes! Now I have to retreat. Oh, oh no. Missing. 
Uh, can I bomb Gary's turret? Not yet. Away from my comrade's turret! Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome, Gary. Your turret would be worm food without me. Alright, I'm curious as to how well the, the Starfighter holds up. It's time to get busy, convicts. Proceed with your mission now. Mission 444. Deceive and disrupt the enemy in the air above the base. Kick rocks, turret. Follow orders. Back to lane. Taxi to the runway now. Check your altimeter and wait in front of the runway. Control, would you kindly send me up first? Sparing, okay. champ. This is the control tower. Okay. You're not cleared for yes, takeoff. Yes, I know that they're missing it. All aircraft preparing for takeoff. Watch out for spare aid. He's forcing a takeoff. I'll take <clears> command. Any objections? Oh, well, they're not missing any more. <laughs> nope. Trigger your call sign to spare 15. Consider it your prisoner number for the air. <sighs> Commencing deception and interception. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to take off. Go now. My blood's boiling! Toss the chump in solitary once he gets back. If he makes it back. Would you land your ass's grass? Spare 15. Takeoff confirmed. Altitude restriction lifted. Go. So, no missiles again. The FCS is locked. Damn. You're good. Well, then some good news. The archer has returned. Prisoners use nothing without supervision. Not even a pencil. <laughs> Here comes Harling's murderer. He shot two Thank missiles you, right between old Harling's eyes. <laughs> Always in the know, aren't you? <laughs> in this war, intel is a life or death matter. Settle down. Excited to have another murderer oh, with you? Gary, don't do that. This is Bandor. For sure don't do that. 15, I'm handling surveillance. The bombers that attacked the runway are coming back for another round. I know it's just a dummy runway. You guys just need to make a lot of noise. Make them think there's fighters at the base. Anyone got a smoke? I'll owe you one. If any of you die, just think of it as you atoning for your crimes. Much appreciated. <laughs> one more thing. Any aircraft that was the wrong move. Will be shot down. You hear me? That was the wrong move, Gary. Right One thing I'm helping you. Shit! The enemy just hit the control tower! Hey, what's with all the shaking? There's smoke! Woo! Send in the fire team! Do not let the enemy get closer! Are you trying to kill me? Shall I order them to shoot down all? <clears throat> Commander! Commander McKinsey? Damn it! No. Come on, Ariel. Spare Let's squadron, me. listen up. Shoot Let's down everything go carrying music. bombs. Weapons free. You're you will go through the damage. river so that you can mercy. have water for your tail. They took my this is the one in first. If counts going I forward, decide when you die. All right, I'm assuming you're dead. All aircraft support me. Who's gonna dance to your line, Tom? I'll show you all how it's done. I wish that I had more damage. Sorry, I got lucky. Watch your six. We're easy pickings now. Push it. Damn it. We were supposed to be done before the bombers even arrived. This is 
Through the wall. I know you want to do it. Silence. Silence. Oh no. They got me. Oh, I tried. Almost out of special weaponry. I tried. This isn't our first dance. Well, 21 minutes. That's a pretty long life in this game. Although four for one is not bad. boobs with eyes and a blunder bus the targets are still active keep up the attack oh that is a valiant oh, effort Gary are you Wilco Commander McKinsey please maintain silence for the moment Maybe? Yep, there you go. That's a paladin right there. Don't get excited. It's beginner's luck. Special weaponry is gone. Can't maintain altitude. Bailing out. Priority. Call up escorts. Missile. 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 Missile.
Trigger got most of them. Maybe even all of them. That was dumb luck, tabloid. Spare 15, don't take all the fun away from your comrades. <laughs> Four targets remaining. Spare 15, what the hell are you doing? Attack! situation get on their ass if you want to score let me just slide in there three targets remaining this is a pretty nice ride it's been service pretty good. Mm. Can't believe I am so not scrap. trying to see any of that. Just what kind of magic does she have up her sleeves anyway? I don't know what her problem is. Uh, Acting like she's loyalty or something. <laughs> That's because she's the scrap queen. A queen? More like a bad tempered tomboy. Two targets remaining. Missile coming. I, I can't with see it. Like a squadron of convicts. Be some kind of reason. Ooh. Now the paper mache strategy at the base seems to be doing I've the killed trick. mountain boobs. Every board and his dog has an idea how to end the war. One bandit left. Take him down now. First come, first served. I'm spiked. I'll shake him. Target's that slow on a challenge. Don't 
Don't let it go to your head, murderer. Multiple bandits inbound. They got bombers and support. All aircraft, follow me. You too, murderer. Jeez, now he thinks he's squadron leader. Shut down now. I got good money riding on your survival. <laughs> Some guys have got big money riding on you going down, so watch your back. Spare seven, shut up. You don't need to yap to pull the trigger. Silence for the moment. Trigger again! Don't get excited. It's beginner's luck. I don't know why it says retry from checkpoint. I mean, there is no checkpoint. Spare squadron, listen up. Shoot down everything carrying bombs. Weapons free. You're cleared to engage. Show no mercy. Right Being done by now. now after rethink the odds. Want to bet which one of us gets the first kill after trigger? The start. This I'm is the first. If counts going forward, I decide when you die. All right. I'm assuming command. All aircraft support me. Who's gonna Ooh, dance to your one. line too? What's up? <laughs> oh, nothing. Um, Show you all how it's done. I was commencing radio silence Spare because I didn't hear anyone. It's like, okay. Trigger, keep an eye on your head count. Yeah. So can compare later. And yeah. I'm betting that report will get I'm also doing a bunch of call-outs. Radar pinged. Which, uh, Incoming might not be detected. the most, um... Take care of them. Right up. A bomber's at high altitude. I'm Stop for. watching your own asses it might and annoy people. up. <clears throat> But yeah, I was, I've been waging a one-man war in, uh, Sorry, in my lucky. lane for about the last ten or so minutes. Allow me to educate you. In this unit, you get your tail Which is not fun. Scratches. Not fun. The more scratches, the more heinous the crime. They're called sin lines. But it was the lane that I was traced. You are Harling's murderer. And, uh, I'm a good grunt. I've yet to confirm the destruction of the targets. Continue on with the mission. Hey, Fox, too. Begin the attack. Move! Oh, yeah! Let's do this. Sperry, watch your mouth. We're cut off. We can't break away. We can't. So, would you take more damage or more sustainability? 
Uh, depending on what's coming up. Um, the situation is you're a you're a mage with not a lot of health against a minimum of three tanks. Any hope of uh, reinforcements? Oh yes, but you do. Well, I guess that kind of answers my question, then, huh? Yeah, you, like you there. Would, I would take the sustainability at that point. You want to be able to hold out for help to come in. Yeah, I mean they they are killable. They're, I mean they're they're tanks, but they don't have resistance, which I like. Focus on destroying the target. But uh, but my teammates are not quick. All right. Bingo! Direct hit. Like team fight for team fight, we're re we're pretty good, but there are long stretches where I'm like, guys, guys. I guess I could say people, but come on now, let's be real. In war, everyone's a guy. Well, I mean, unless you're mountain boobs over there. I wouldn't go that far. Target's that slow on a challenge. Don't let it go to your head, murderer. Fight! Breaking away! Have one! Bandit on your six! Multiple bandits inbound. They got bombers and support. All aircraft, follow me. You too, murderer. Nipple. Jeez, now he thinks he's squadron Nipple. leader. Nipple. Bring that down! I'm surrounded! Wow, look at Trigger go. Lucky shot. Trigger, don't get shot down now. I got good money riding on your survival. <laughs> Some guys have got big money riding on you going down, so watch your back. Spare seven, shut up. You don't need to yap to pull the trigger. I can't see a damn thing. Better be careful. Fox two. <laughs> I should have put it all on trigger. Trigger again! We're on fire! We're going down! Don't get excited. It's beginner's luck. Can't maintain altitude! Bailing out! This is a pretty nice ride. It's been serviced pretty good. Can't believe these seats used to be scrap. Just what kind of magic does she have on her sleeves anyway? I don't know what her problem is. I think she's loyalty or something. <laughs> That's because she's the scrap queen. Queen? More like a bad-tempered tomboy. The targets are still active. Keep up the attack. What the hell are you doing? Are you? We'll go. Commander McKenzie, please maintain silence for the moment. Spear 15, what the hell are you doing? Attack! Enemy on my six. Priority, call up escorts. Missile. You're low on special weaponry. Missile. Man, Trigger got most of them. Maybe even all of them. That was dumb luck, tabloid. Spear 15, don't take all the fun away from your comrades. <laughs> We're losing friendly. This was not Four targets fight. remaining. Three targets remaining. Approaching target. Open the bomb bay doors. <laughs> Boom! Hell yeah! Hey, do you have a read on the situation? Drop your payload and maintain balance. You can bail out after that. Two targets remaining. Why in the world would someone make a squadron of convicts? Gotta be some kind of reason. Now the paper mache strategy at the base seems to be doing the trick. Guess every man and his dog has an idea how to end the war. Missile. Enemy interceptors firing! Two. One bandit left. Take him down now. Missile. First come, first served. Locked on hostile. Tabloid, take six!
running out of missiles. Targets confirmed eliminated. Yeah! Hell yeah! Still alive, Harling's murderer? Then dinner's on me tonight. Cut the chatter, Spare Squadron. Mission complete. RTB. Trigger's still with us. Must have the devil in his corner. Spare Seven, what happens if the one you've bet on dies while landing? <laughs> then you win. So what? You're not done? Just checking. Spare 15, this is the control tower. Make your landing check. We don't want a wreck blocking the runway. Spare 15, you have permission to land. Wind conditions are calm. 3,000 meters. Too fast. Lower your airspeed. Lower your nose. You're too high. Heading is good. Stay on course. You're past the guidance limit. Make a visual landing. Right. Stand by for your next sortie. I lost a lot of money for that trigger. Don't forget. Spare 15, the runway's free. You have permission to... Sometimes Air Force Jesus has to. Did I say to... you could take down the enemy? Throw anyone who disobeys Bless into you solitary. Let's shit on you. Yeah. Since both of you were talking, I couldn't tell what the other guy was saying. <laughs> oh. All I all I can make out was Jesse could take down the enemy. I mean, want to know. Hmm. It and seems as if victory is within sight. Good for you. But I was and about it, to ask. I was about to ask Reese. Have you tried out the stuff on this, on the Steam Lab? Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's not all that exciting. Why not? <clears throat> it just isn't. You don't Mihai's like the like micro trailers the or the adjustable nope. search or the real girl cutscene. <laughs> time to time, I'd catch myself looking at him, wondering what they were talking about. You have subtitles on it, so I give no fucks. Everyone on the base did the same. They were such enthralling creatures. Every night, a crowd would gather around Mihai. They were the men tasked with guarding him in the air. Their jackets all bore the same patch, a relic from a nation that was long gone. Decades ago, during the Age of Expansion, the Kingdom of Erugia absorbed many countries. Theirs was one of them. Mihai asked them, Yet what is a nation? Can we actually see the physical lines that divide one from another? People of my generation can no longer speak the language of our homeland. My grandparents always look sad when they see I have no idea what they're saying to me. Mihai didn't say a word after that. His scarred face betrayed no emotion. He didn't get those scars from flying, though. Mihai was originally from Shilaji. His real name is Mihai Dimitru Margarita Corneliu Leopold Blanca Carol Aeon Ignatius Raphael Maria Nikitas A. Shilaji. Um, that's a long name. When he was young, he was the heir to the Grand Duchy of Shilaji. Then, revolution broke out among his people. 
Mihai was betrayed by a close friend who pointed a gun at his face and pulled the trigger. The revolution was successful, but the new country that sprang from it was annexed by the expanding kingdom of Arusia. The Arusian royal family allowed Mihai's family to retain their title and noble standing in the new kingdom. But Mihai surprised them all by signing up for the draft like an ordinary Arusian citizen. He was then accepted into the Air Force Academy by order of the king. Mihai soon became an ace pilot. When the royal family was ousted and Arusia became a republic, he continued his service for the new regime. Test sites soon flourished. One day, a classmate of Mihai's granddaughter visited. I noticed the rose emblem. She laughed like a princess, and I found out later she was indeed the daughter of Arugia's new ruler. She was the connection to the royal bloodline everyone was looking for the one to restore the monarchy. This new princess was truly a godsend for the Erujian people. If Mihai's granddaughters were like the moon, she was like the sun, around which everything seemed to orbit. Her face was so expressive, it's no wonder the people of this war-torn country instantly felt at ease when they saw her speeches. They started singing. The pilots of the support plane smiled, even though they wished their nation were independent from hers. Angelic. I wonder how Mihai felt about all of this. It was my job to research his neurological data, after all. I wish I could figure him out. Whatever his feelings were about losing his homeland, he kept hidden, even from me. Mission six, long day. And apparently one of the countries got lost and staring at this animation makes me ask one question. Your mission is to atone for your crimes by attracting the enemy's attention. First, I want you to head from the base to the desert region of Roca Roja to the northwest. And then second, you will attack the large Arusian base there. We've been unable to verify that base's ability to deal with fighters. You will attack and provoke the enemy into revealing their AA strategy. Get them to fire at you as much as you can. That way, we can confirm where they're firing from. Then it's a case of sending in a regular force to clean them out. For this mission, we prepared a frontline base that can be used for ammo replenishment and aircraft repairs. However, this is not for you guys. Only the regular force has permission to use it. Fuck you. Even if you run out of ammo, don't forget that you're just decoys. What's you your problem, Reese? Targets for the enemy. Oh, I'm not allowed to fire at the enemy. <laughs> you have to just fly around. I have, to make, I have to make way for the heroes to come in and save the day. <laughs> have you done that before in this in this series? That's no. Some Ghost Recon's Wildland shit right there. Actually, now that I think about it, now that I think about it, um, Ace Combat Zero, I think I was supposed to be like the decoys, and I turned out to be the hero. <clears throat> But that was that might happen here, so give it. But that was, but that was, but that was, um, a bunch of mercenaries. Instead, I'm a convict. Well, you're the guy who, who has been claimed to have murdered your president. Former president. Oh, you murdered him. On high, I have visuals some level, and that wasn't so supposed to be the case. I'm amazed they haven't thrown you, your character in jail for that, or murdered you. Not for lack of trying. I mean, not for nothing, this is... This plot is a shitty anime waiting to happen. It's like while the women do do look like dolls. Mm. 
not to be too much of a critic of it or anything, because I don't know what the cutscenes are like in previous games, but couldn't they have just shown all the things that they narrated instead of like having us look at a dude in silhouette? Um, I don't know why they did that for seven. Some of them actually show what people, what your character's been doing throughout this the mess, and one of them was actually in in a two D anime style. Not the gameplay itself, but the cutscenes were. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Peace? Yes. If you're wondering where Seven fits in the timeline, it's currently the last game before the big time jump to 2040. This one takes place in 2019. <sighs> what? No, it's it's not him. It's it's uh, the my team is doing something that not even the Three Stooges would do. Your team is doing something incredibly stupid, and it's definitely gonna fuck you over. Oh, not me. At least not right now. Timo no. no. <sighs> I'm sorry, you were saying? <clears throat> I mean, you know it's not going to fuck you over. Just because your side area is not going to be fine, I mean, the other areas are going to be are fucking and are going to bring you down. Then we go, what you're like that. Yes, you are correct. Eventually, it's it can potentially screw me over really big. But right now, in the meantime, I have to take the small victory of I'm not going to go die doing something dumb. Because I know how my character works early game. And they have a black mage. An early yeah. game. And a white mage. In classification because they don't have specific colored mages in this game and I'm just not down with that because I'm a red mage I and red and red. Go on. You finish. no that, that's all I was just gonna I was about to say and they also have the mentality of probably Florida man they will do something incredibly stupid <sighs> yeah but that's the that's the community in this game at large. It's like, hey, let's go steal their buffs. It's so like, basically, Dota attracts people who want to act like Florida Man in a video game. Oh yeah, you could probably call games like League Floridaville because that's if you don't do what they do, it's like you know the the city Miami. Yeah, well, it's Miami. It's like, well, no, it's not. It's whatever's making money, Miami. Okay, and. This AD is not going to work once I get it. To, once I get some AP, but for now, oh wait, no, she's dumb. God, I love when people underestimate Teemo early game. It's so fun. That being said, I have no vision, so or I have no like map vision, so. There could be a, there could be a creepo in the bush. Princess is missing.
There she comes. Down the streets. <clears throat> In my defense, Warwick, that's Top's problem that he did not tell you that Top Floop was missing. So in your defense, another player in a different lane screwed something up. Oh yes, but Warwick's blaming me because he's like, look at map. It's like, okay. Which I did, and I pinged that my lane has no champion in it. So that everyone knows, everyone should know that the Blade Princess is not mid. But I am. <laughs> you're being, trying to be smart while you're surrounded by idiots. I don't give them. I don't do, like, with the exception of the earlier game that I played before I jumped into the chat room. Uh, there was a there was a centaur on my team that said he was an idiot. Like in ch in game chat, and um, I felt the need to point out, and that's obvious. Either he's being an, I'm not sure if he's being, he's being idiotically honest, being a ass, or just a troll, being stupid and then just going, yeah, I am stupid. Well, at that point, it didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, dude, spread out and attack. you you know that they attack, can kill right? you very easily. So what would have been a way like better before. move is if you would have said at the beginning of the game, hey, so I don't know how to jungle very scary. well, to which I would say, all right, man, then now I can play this way and not have to wonder why you're being so questionable with decisions. We're being attacked. Enemy aircraft. A whole squadron. So, it was just a, I, but it was a minor poke at him because it's like, yeah, I know, I can see this. But then he took it personally, and I was like, oh, I can't do that. Because you're the one who said it. So get mad at me for agreeing with you. What are the odds of getting out alive? That's for you to figure out, Square 7. Any regular aircraft that join later needing any repairs or ammo will fly over the return line. However, you guys do not have that luxury. So, what are we supposed to do? Enemy dodged. Continuing attack. I'm out. Returning to resupply. How are we supposed to work without ammo? I'm heading back. Nice try. Mm. This stuff isn't for you Thank guys. Thank you for walking back. Let's be honest here. Regulars like us aren't allowed to resupply. Burn but that. in your heart, you want us to You're smash that base. By my minions. <sighs> You're gonna wish this mission never ended. Looks like bad dogs finally come around. APC destroyed. Target destroyed. The enemy's gunning for me. Bandit acquired. Initiating attack. Yay, free gold. Gun down. On my target's rear. Firing. <laughs> A bomber has taken off. That's for us. Take care of it. The bomber's getting away. So you still on that no kill run boss. kill run Reese? Yes. My fingers on the trigger. Uh, actually, no, he's can fight. He can fight. Oh, yay! 
There's nothing. I, I, there's nothing more frustrating than missions that you have to like be bait, essentially. Spare 15 launching missile. Kind of like this top laner in my game right now that keeps pointing out that the that my uh, <clears throat> my lane champion's still alive. It's like, yes, I know this dude. I do know it. I'm the one that pinged that she's still alive. But, you know, good job. Oh. Spider girl! No! 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 Daniel Bryan, no! And now you will pay with your life. Spare 15, locked on. Okay, that was not a good idea for her. Target confirmed destroyed. Trigger again. Your AP means nothing to me. Cut the crap. There's work to do. She has to come down, bro. Just there you go. Add a dog. You're a good wolf. I can help with dragon. I'm spiked. Requesting assistance. Hey, gun down. Oh, here comes Vigar. Enemy has a lot. Mm. Attack missed. Get closer to the ground. That is a tough, tough break. Bomber has left the AO. Do not pursue. Keep the enemy shooting at you. Finally have a read on the targets. They're in one hell of a oh, place. If I were them, I would have collapsed on me. Launching missile. Turn and burn! Missile headed for you! One down! I know you know I'm right here. Dart. It's not like, you know, I'm gambling with my life out here. Enemy's locked on me. Someone help me out here. Play this one pretty cool. I know the base commander makes a big deal whenever a new mission comes in. But it's just, just one enough. after another. Like that was the plan all along or something. Battle doctrines. When something happens, they tell you what to do next. Osia has one. It probably even says where and when pawns like us will die. You mean they already know the next strategy? Hold up, hold up. Let's make a bet. Whoever guesses the next strategy wins. You can get in on this too, Bandog. Maybe you guys need to cool your heads off in solitary. One, three, one. Goodbye. Look into this doctrine thing. Man, you're delusional. The bribe is all you need to look into a terminal. It's well, amazing thank you, how many team. people write their password on a note by their desk. Gathering intel is all about getting access. <sighs> Anyone out there besides Trigger think they can destroy the target? This base uses its surroundings. You're good. Trigger's taking out one of the AA guns. Box two. It's like I'm a pentagon trying to fit into a triangle. Spare 15, target destroyed. I need help with Nick Boobs, please. Missile incoming! Maybe if we had some anti surface oh, weapon. Missile. Probably uh, use bombs 
That'd be nice. Possibly. Spare 15, target destroyed. Oh, they took down both my turrets. Damn. They're drones. These must be the infamous drones. They can dogfight without pirates? Heard about them on the news. Machines are not replacing humans. Calm down. They're just obstacles in your way. Don't forget your original mission. It's bad enough just dealing with the surface. Damn. Jailer know about the shit storm he was sending us into? Penal units are just pawns. That liar son of a bitch. Don't pretend like you deserve any better. Continue with the operation. This is spare seven. Shit! Someone get this enemy off my tail! I can't, I've got my hands full too. I roll her missile, shake it off. <laughs> God damn it, I'm hit! I'm still at the table! I roll her missile, another one! I've got a bet on me getting out of this. Spare 15, this is the control tower. Make your landing check. 15, you are cleared for takeoff. Get your ass in gear. Affirmative. Taking off from my painted runway. Which I'm surprised isn't just dirt and rocks. This will be my last mission for tonight as well. Gary, it was good having you here, man. Try to stop yep. Good night. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow trigger. night, by the Stick way. The best if you want to survive. Oh, okay. If anyone wants to die, let him. Good night. Have a good night, man. I've still got night. top score. Count? <laughs> man, you're useless. Everyone knows you inflate your numbers. I can't get close enough to try. On your ass. Oh, they all have sweepers now. or face punishment. Keep yapping away, little guard dog. You'll pay for this. <laughs> Looks like we're the only ones having fun out here. Trigger, the one with the highest score wins. Let's settle who's best once and for all. Target down. Missile. Spare 15, missile. missile. In gun range. 
Spare 15 down another. That's three. Trigger, I like your style. They have me spiked. It's the mission and the ones who stayed that are crazy. Hustle on your tail! Three minutes remaining. Spare 15 blocked! Two minutes to inflict as much damage as can be. I think I can do it. Watch out for ice while you're in there. Two minutes remaining. Trigger destroyed the enemy facility while everyone else was sleeping. On the base? Yep. That's job, Trigger. That's five. I can shut down six. Bullshit. You're still on two. Hey, are you sure your radar's working right? It's two. It's two. It's two. Trigger's destroyed all the trucks. I'm spiked. I'll shake him. Proceeds to go do that. Well, spare 15 locked on. Uh, is Trigger still alive? Okay, you've hit the enemy base enough. Operation is complete. Head back. The bastards who flew off are going to wish they were never born. You guys get a pass. Damn right. I wouldn't be surprised if we're thrown in solitary too. Hey, who wants to bet who goes into solitary? That's what that gambling nut job would say if he was still here. <laughs> Where's your sense of humor, guys? Your buddy's making a joke. Laugh already. Just a pawn. You lost claims, but the mission succeeded. Got it. However, some of you crossed the return line for supplies and for repairs. This will result in solitary. Take them. You got one or new more new nicknames. Yay.
least I'll get a preview of the next mission before I take off. First contact. You know, I've received a medal for my ingenuity <laughs> in finding a use for your cons. But just remember, not puns, but orders, kind of puns. A special place in solitary confinement for you. Your so-called right to complain was forfeited the moment you chose to break the law. Okay then, go make yourselves useful. An Ocean Air Force squadron is currently entering Arusian territory for reconnaissance. Due to certain factors, their return route has been changed. The new return route will be through Yinshi Valley, a scenic and rocky karst area. The enemy's radar facilities and anti-aircraft weapons hidden on the mountainside pose a serious threat. Your mission is to destroy them and get our guys out in one piece, even if it puts your own lives in danger. And it is important to remember, they will send up interceptors if you're detected. So you will need to choose something useful in a dogfight. The weather won't be on your side, but you're doing this whether you like it or not. Worry about the squadron's return route, not your own. Your mission is to get them back safely, which I think is the perfect punishment for your crimes. All right, about this aircraft tree. Is definitely something to consider. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and end the mission and. and back out. Ah! There I am. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. I will be back tomorrow night for more Ace Combat 7. We'll see where this goes. And I hope to see you all again as well. And if you like what you saw, feel free to hit the subscribe button up top, or if you're feeling really generous, there is a tip jar at the very, very bottom. I will see you all tomorrow night. And take care.